I just walked into my principal's office one day and was like, I'm, this is my last year here and next year I'm starting a farm. Sweet. Farmers work long hours, some struggle to make ends meet, and yet, according to the Census of Agriculture, beginning farmers accounted for one-fourth of the 2.1 million farms in America. People want a better lifestyle. Um, sitting in an office in a city somewhere for too long is just super unhealthy, not only physically, but, but mentally. But for Gandelman, he wanted more than just a lifestyle change. School food really upset me, so I kind of left teaching and wanted to change changed that and I started farming with the kind of the goal to get food into school cafeterias. When new farmers go into the farming industry, they struggle to make money, find land in order to start their farm, and balance work and life. Some people mistakenly enter farming because they are fatigued with their desk or with sort of the um, like this sort of the email treadmill lifestyle where you're sitting in front of a computer a lot and they think it's um, a better lifestyle. Despite growing up in a farm, New Syracuse farm owner Thomas Hello, Stevens knows that farming good, is good. not an easier lifestyle. I don't know how my dad did this. He did this every day. There is no days off when you have a farm and you have livestock and uh, animals that need to be fed every day and taken, taken care of. Some days it's snowing, some days it's raining. Uh, no matter what, they'd be out here working. Despite the long hours farmers work every day, it takes at least seven years to make a profit. And that's part of why so many new farmers are also young farmers. For a young farmer, it's easier to go a bunch of years without health insurance and without a steady income. I think probably I went for eight years without health insurance. There's nothing else I'd rather be doing. It's awesome, but at some point you do have to also make money. While one of the biggest challenges for farmers is making an income, one way for new farmers to make a profit is to come to farmers markets like this one. Hey, what's up man, how are you? It truly does help <laughs> building your income. The direct marketing movement, which started 10 to 15 years ago, has been an incredible um, opportunity for new farmers because it allows them just to grow whatever they're successful at and find a, a market for it. Aside from farmers markets, community supported agriculture, also known as CSA, is another way for farmers to make money through the community. The consumer who subscribes to that CSA farm basically just consumes whatever the farm produces. The CSA allows residents to prepay an amount of money to get seasonal produce directly from a farmer. Our direct-to-consumer sales are probably 75 percent of the farm in terms of our CSA and our farmers market. The CSA allows farmers to help the community and for new farmers like Yandelman that is refreshing. I like to be outside, I love plants, I love soil, um, I love the idea that I'm feeding people. Michelle Fenelon, NCC News.